Hello to everyone, this is a new video and today I'm going to explain how to connect the Apple AirPods Pro to the new iOS 16 and how to set them up. First thing I'm going to show that I have iOS 16 because as you can see, I have the new wallpaper thing but just, just to be sure, we can go to settings about and here you have it, iOS 16. So to connect them, what we should first do, as with every single AirPod, is just click the part behind. And we will see here, AirPods, and it shows this. Since I already connected them, I don't need to click on the connect button, but it should be there. I'm just going to put the AirPods, because otherwise it will be way harder. Once here, I'm listening nothing, because the new AirPods Pro have noise cancel, cancel noise cancelling so if we go here we will be able to see all these things this is a new thing for the AirPods Pro that you have all these things here firstly we're going to go through th through the first thing here we have well I'm going to change the noise cancellation to just transparency so I can hear how loud I'm talking here we can see that we have the battery of the AirPods and the battery of the case and the image of both. Here we have the name of the AirPods and we can just change it to whatever we want. We have it here. You put this name, for example, Don, and they should have a different name. Here we have the noise control, which is just, uh, if we want the noise cancellation, for this, we should have both in, in the ears. Transparency, which means it just, there's, like if there were no AirPods, it's just like, if it was like a normal without airpods off it's just like normal like if i put some um, airpods but without having transparency and noise cancellation is to hear nothing right now i'm hearing nothing from the outside i'm just going to put in transparency so i see how much how loud i'm talking here we have the first one left and hold airpods here we just have if we do a double click on the airpods if we activate all these things, or Siri or noise control. And on the right, the same thing. Then we can do an air tip fit test, which just means if our, if our ear, like if, if the things that have the AirPod, these ones specifically, this, these things, if they are well connected. If I click here, I would play sound of my ear, which I'm going to do and I'm not going to hear nothing. Right now I'm hearing a song. And when it finishes, it just appears this, good seal. They're well put together. So the next thing is automatic ear detection. This is just to connect them automatically. If, we, if they are connected to the iPhone, I do not have to click to connect every single time. They would just connect. And connect to this iPhone automatic, so yeah, and when last connected, so this is just if I wanted to connect it always to this iPhone or when it was, or the last iPhone where these AirPods were connected. I'm just going to put automatically since they are mine. So then we have the spatial audio. To do this, we should, the iPhone will uh, take an image of me as if it was face ID and it will detect how far my ears or how my ears are in order to create, uh, if we click here, see how it works. This is just like stereo, like the normal kind, and this is a spatial audio. This normal, this, well, I already have them, I don't know what, I'm hearing the sound right now. This is just like the new things the Apple AirPods Pro have. And if I have personalized audio, if I put stop using, and I put personalized, it would require me to Create, take, I should take them off and off um, an image of me should, I should take a, an image of me as in a, a face ID and it would be better, but I do not recommend doing this because it's not mm, really good. I don't really like it. Then we have a microphone, which is if I want it automatic or always left or right. I'm just going to put it automatic. I think it's the best thing unless one of the microphones in the AirPods are broken, which is not the case. Then optimize battery charging. This is really good. This means that 
the AirPods will only charge and uh, will only charge until 80% sometimes because here we can read it because it helps the battery. So that's why it's it's weird sometimes you take the AirPods and they are only 80, but that's for the good of the battery. Here I just find my network if you want if you lose them, if you want them in find my things or not, I would recommend obviously putting this because if they get stolen or you lost them, it's for the best. Accessibility, here we have a lot of things. Here we got the speed of the um, audio in the AirPods. Noise cancellation with one AirPod. If you want only noise cancellation with one AirPod, you can activate this, but I'm just going to put it, I'm just not going to activate it. And then we have many things such as the tone volume, which we can put higher to 125% or lower. I'm just going to put it in 100%, I think it's the best. And then we have the version, the model name, and all the things about it. As you can see, it's AirPods Pro. We can see if the coverage expired or not, but we can see it's available still. So, good news. And then we have disconnect and forget this device. Well, this was the video. I hope you liked it. It was an easy video just to know how it works. And well, see you the next time.